If you're still using Modbus, Ethernet, IP, or Profinet for everything in your plant, you're about to be left behind. I'm Alana, and in my 35 years in industrial controls, I've never seen a protocol explode like OPCUA has in 2025. We're talking 45 million installed units worldwide and growing fast. And here's the kicker. AWS, Google Cloud, and Huawei just joined the OPC Foundation Board of Directors this year. When the biggest cloud companies in the world make that kind of commitment, you know something big is happening. Stick around, because this might be the most important protocol you learn this year. Let's start with the basics, because understanding what OPC UA actually is will help you see why it's taking over. OPC UA stands for Open Platform Communications Unified Architecture. Now, before your eyes glaze over at another acronym, let me break this down in a way that'll make sense. Think of OPC UA as the universal translator for industrial equipment. You know how frustrating it is when your Allen Bradley PLC speaks one language, your Siemens drive speaks another, and your temperature transmitter speaks a third? OPC UA is like having one person who can speak to all of them fluently. But here's what makes it revolutionary. And this is something I wish I'd understood 20 years ago when I was wrestling with serial connections and proprietary protocols. OPC UA isn't just about moving data from point A to point B. It's about moving data with context and meaning. What do I mean by context? Well, instead of just getting a number like 75.2, OPC UA tells you that's 75.2 degrees Celsius from temperature sensor 3 in tank A, measured at 1423.45 with high quality status, and it's part of the cooling system object model. That context is everything when you're troubleshooting at 2 a.m. Now, OPC UA has been around since 2008, but 2025 is really its breakout year. The market is expanding at 6.3% annually and projected to hit $18.3 billion by 2026. But the real game changer isn't just the growth, it's what's driving it. So why is OPC UA suddenly everywhere? Three big reasons that directly impact your day-to-day -day work. First, security that's built in, not bolted on. And this is huge. Most traditional protocols were designed in the 80s and 90s when cybersecurity meant locking the control room door. According to the OPC Foundation president, security requirements are now the primary driver for adoption. Modbus, for example, has zero built-in security. Anyone who can access the network can read and write to your devices. That's terrifying in 2025. OPC UA, it's got enterprise-grade security baked right in, X0509 certificates, encryption, authentication, digital signatures. Multiple global security authorities have analyzed and confirmed these mechanisms actually work. Here's something I see constantly. Companies spending thousands on network firewalls and intrusion detection, but their field devices are still chattering away in plain text. OPC UA fixes that problem at the source, and it can handle everything from basic 256-bit encryption up to advanced elliptic curve cryptography. Second reason, it's designed for the cloud and IoT from the ground up. When your boss asks you to connect that new machine to the company's cloud analytics platform, OPC UA makes it straightforward. And here's proof this isn't just marketing hype. The OPC Foundation Cloud Initiative brought together six cloud providers, eight automation suppliers, and over 25 end users. They've demonstrated 53 vendors all connected via OPC UA over MQTT to AWS and Azure dashboards. Try doing that with traditional protocols. You'll need gateways, converters, and probably a lot of prayer. Traditional protocols break down when you try to scale them. OPC UA can tunnel through firewalls, handle intermittent connections, and scale from a single sensor to thousands of devices without breaking a sweat. Third, and this is my favorite, vendor independence that actually saves you money. You know that feeling when you're locked into one manufacturer's ecosystem? OPC UA breaks those chains, and companies are reporting 30 to 50% reductions in custom interface development costs. I just helped a plant integrate Schneider Drives, Rockwell PLCs, and Phoenix Contact I.O. all talking seamlessly through OPC UA. 
Try doing that with proprietary protocols. You'll need three different software packages and probably a translator device for each connection. The beauty is, once you understand OPC UA with one vendor's equipment, you understand it with everyone's equipment. There are over 60 industry-specific companion specifications now, from machine tools to injection molding to robotics. The syntax might vary slightly, but the core concepts are identical. Let me show you where OPC UA is making a real difference in plants today, because we're not talking about pilot projects anymore. We're talking about massive production scale deployments. Predictive maintenance is the big one. With OPC UA, you can pull vibration data, temperature trends, and performance metrics directly from your equipment into analytics software. And it's fast. We're talking data sampling down to 10 millisecond intervals while maintaining full audit trails. No custom programming, no data conversion headaches. Let me give you some real numbers. Renault just deployed over 2,200 OPC UA servers connecting 15,000 devices across their production facilities for comprehensive data collection all through OPC UA. But it's not just manufacturing. Oil and gas operations are using OPC UA for subsea production control and pipeline monitoring. The MDIS initiative, that's Master Control Systems to DCS Interface Standardization, selected OPC UA as their standard protocol. We're seeing triple redundant SCADA servers supporting 24 seven drilling operations. Energy monitoring is another game changer. Power meters, drives, and motor control centers all publishing their data in a standard format. Building an energy management system used to take months, now it's weeks. And here's something practical that impacts your daily life. Remote monitoring actually works now. I can pull up this plant's critical parameters on my phone from anywhere with an internet connection securely. That wasn't really possible with traditional protocols, especially not with this level of detail and context. But the application I'm most excited about is what we call digital twins. With OPC UA's rich information modeling, you can build virtual copies of your equipment that update in real time and understand the relationships between components. When the pump starts struggling, the digital twin can predict how that affects downstream equipment. This isn't science fiction. It's happening now because OPC UA provides the semantic data models that make it possible. Now let's talk reality, because I believe in giving you the whole picture. OPC UA isn't magic, and there are some things you need to know before you dive in. First, it's more complex to set up than simple protocols like Modbus. There's certificate management, security policies, and endpoint configuration. It's not hard, but it's not plug and play either. Think of it like the difference between connecting a simple light switch versus installing a smart home system. Here's what I tell people, budget time for the learning curve. Your first OPC UA implementation will take longer than expected. Your second one will be much faster. And let's talk real numbers for cost planning. Development licenses can run $5,000 to $20,000, and runtime licenses from $500 to $5,000 per installation. That sounds expensive until you realize companies are reporting 30 to 50% reductions in custom interface development costs once they're up and running. The ROI is there, but you need to plan for the upfront investment. Network bandwidth is another consideration. OPC UA can be chatty, especially with large data models. I've seen networks get overwhelmed when someone published every available data point without thinking about update rates. The key is being selective and understanding what you're doing. Just because you can publish 10,000 data points doesn't mean you should. Start with what you actually need and expand from there. Vendor implementation quality varies a lot. Some manufacturers have excellent OPC UA servers that expose everything beautifully with rich information models. Others? Well, let's just say they check the box without much thought. Research your vendors and ask for demonstrations. My advice? Start with a pilot project. Pick one critical process, implement OPC UA properly, and learn from that experience before rolling it out plant-wide. This approach lets you build expertise while proving value. 
Now here's something that just reached release candidate status that's going to change everything again. OPC UAFX, which stands for Field E-Exchange. This technology enables controller-to-controller -controller communication with real-time, safety, and deterministic data exchange. We're talking about field-level interoperability that was impossible just a few years ago. The specification was developed with input from over 320 experts across 60-plus companies. I've seen demonstrations with 27 vendors all talking to each other seamlessly at the field level, PLCs, drives, I.O. modules, safety controllers. This is the kind of plug-and-play interoperability we've dreamed about for decades. What this means for you is that you'll finally be able to mix and match field devices from different vendors without custom programming or gateway devices. Choose the best PLC for your application, the best drives for your performance requirements, and the best I.O. for your environment, all talking the same language. So what's driving the explosion in 2025? Three major trends I'm seeing everywhere, and understanding these will help you plan your next moves. First, cybersecurity regulations are getting serious. Manufacturing companies can't afford to ignore security anymore, and OPC UA is often the most practical path to compliance. The built-in security isn't just nice to have, it's becoming legally required. Second, the labor shortage is forcing companies to get smarter about maintenance and operations. Remote monitoring and predictive analytics aren't nice-to-haves anymore, they're survival tools. When you can't have technicians on site 24-7, you need systems that can tell you what's happening and predict what's going to happen. And third, edge computing is taking off. Companies want intelligence right at the machine level, not just up in the cloud. OPC UA makes it possible to build sophisticated edge applications that actually work reliably, processing data locally while still connecting to enterprise systems. If you're ready to get started with OPC UA, here's my practical roadmap based on what I've learned from successful implementations. Step one, inventory your existing equipment. Many devices you already own probably support OPC UA. You just haven't enabled it yet. I've seen plants discover they had dozens of OPC UA servers already installed but not configured. Step two, download a free OPC UA client like UA Expert. It's the best way to explore OPC UA servers and understand how they organize data. Spend time browsing different device models to see how information modeling works in practice. Step three, pick one simple use case that delivers clear value. Maybe pulling energy data from a VFD or monitoring temperatures from a sensor. Keep it small and focused, but make sure it solves a real problem. Step four, plan your security from day one. Don't treat it as an afterthought. Set up proper certificates, implement certificate authorities rather than self-signed certificates, and establish certificate rotation policies right from the start. And step five, document everything and plan for training. Trust me on this one. Six months from now, you'll thank yourself for writing down how you configured everything. And invest in proper training for your team. The upfront cost pays for itself quickly. Look, I've been in this industry long enough to see protocols come and go. But OPC UA isn't just another communication standard. It's the foundation for the next generation of industrial automation. With 45 million units installed and major cloud providers betting their future on it, this train is leaving the station. Whether you're dealing with cybersecurity requirements, trying to implement predictive maintenance, or just tired of wrestling with incompatible protocols, OPC UA is probably your answer. The companies that figure this out in 2025 are going to have a huge competitive advantage. Don't wait until your competitors force your hand. The technology is mature, the ecosystem is proven, and the business case is clear. If this helped clarify OPC UA for you, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more practical automation insights. And drop a comment, what's your biggest challenge with industrial communications? I read every single one, and they help me decide what to cover next. Until next time, this is Alana from SCADA and Beyond signing off. Keep things secure, everyone.